Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk from the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's review is Mountain Dew Energy Cherry Lime Lift. That's right, we got Mountain Dew Energy Cherry Lime Lift. The only reason I'm... Is this new? I don't know if this is new. I saw that the Impulsive Buy put up a review of uh, Mountain Dew Energy Cherry Lime Lift. And I was like, well, if the Impulsive Buy is doing it, it's probably new. By the way, if you are not uh, following the Impulsive Buy, uh, then you should do so. Because they put up some great content when it comes to the snack game. I'm more of the soda game, but they're a snack game. So I'm going to guess this is new. Or at least, I don't know. Mountain Dew Energy Cherry Lime Lift. Uh, you may remember that this brand used to be called Mountain Dew Rise. But it is now energy. So let us... Let us uh, read some ingredients, shall we? I love reading the ingredients on an energy drink. Carbonated water, white grape juice concentrate, citric acid, natural and artificial flavor, sodium polyphosphates to protect flavor. Citicoline, caffeine, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, aspartame, gub Gum arabic, potassium sorbate, preserves freshness. Asulfame potassium, sucralose, red 40, niacinamide, vitamin B3. Glycerol, ester of rosin, calcium disodium EDTA, to protect flavor. Calcium pantothenate, vitamin B5. Sucrose acetate, acetate, isobutyrate, zinc sulfate, pyridoxine hydrochloride, vitamin B6, beta carotene, vitamin A, blue one, contains <clears throat> phenylalanine, God, phenylalanine, bottled under the authority of PepsiCo Incorporated, purchased in New York, 10567. Okay, so we had a blue one and a red 40 in there, which means the color's probably a purple 41. Also, I like that it has a preserves freshness on there, a protects the flavor on there. And you got two protect flavors and one preserve freshness. So that's good. Uh, four grams of sugar. 5% juice. 15% of the vitamin A you need, 100% of the vitamin C and niacin. This is going on on the uh, 2,000 calorie diet. 90% of the vitamin B6, 80% of the panthenic, pantothenic, there we go, acid, and 50% of the zinc. Caffeine content is 180 milligrams for the 16 fluid ounces we're about to consume. You're not going to watch me consume all of it. But I'm going to consume all of it because it's my lunch time. This is equal, caffeine equal to approximately two cups of coffee. Which makes sense because it's twice the, uh, this is, half of this is basically a cup of coffee. Eight ounces. Open it up. And it's a red and a green can, so you, and it says cherry lime lift. So you assume it's a cherry limeade, I mean cherry lime flavor. The scent is more cherry than lime, which is not surprising because cherry is the more dominant of the two scents and flavors. There is a bit of a lime in there, but it's strongly cherry. It's a little more bitter than I was anticipating. Okay, so you get kind of a lime rind taste in there, um, which is where I believe the bitter comes in, but the cherry tries to smooth things over. It does an okay job, but the bitterness is, eh, bitter may not be the right, no, it's bitter. The bitterness is prevalent throughout, and the cherry limeade does what it can to smooth it. Um, you ever seen curling? Hmm? You know, curling the Olympics, they're going on right now. Uh, so, that little, that giant thing that's sliding across the ice, 
the ice it's sliding across is pebbled, meaning there is little bumps of ice all over it. And the people in front of it with the little brooms are kind of pushing away or smoothing out the ice to allow the stone to make it, uh, hopefully, to the target. Well, this is a terrible analogy because I had to explain the thing I'm comparing it to. The bitterness is the bumps in the ice, and the cherry is the two people smoothing. I'm sure they have titles, and I'm sorry. Anyway, they're trying to get rid of all those bumpy bitterness, but they can't fully. But it gets, you know what, at the end of the day, though, it finds its target. So even though there's still some bitterness there, the cherry is prevalent enough, and the lime flavor is there as well. You end up with an okay beverage. You end up with a, a decent beverage. It's not overly sweet. It's a good cherry. It's a candy cherry. I wouldn't call it a natural cherry. But it's a uh, it's a good cherry. Oh, I did say it had four total sugars, but there's zero added sugars. Let's just be clear on that. 25 calories in this can, if that matters to you. Carbonation wide, they are super tiny bubbles with just a flash of fizz. I'm not doing a lot of work um, mouthfeel wise, but enough, you know, to keep them, to keep it, to keep it feeling fresh. The flavor doesn't really build on itself. You get a similar experience with each one. I'd say the first sip was a little bit more bitter just because I wasn't expecting it and because my palate was, my palate was clean. My palate was pure. But after that, the hasn't really built on itself anymore. But you know who has built on themselves? The SodaJerk.net with over 940 reviews. I don't know why I said that this time. Oh, pardon me. Actually, I do know why. I was going to say over 950 reviews, but we're not there yet. But we're getting close. Anyway, if you want to see a soda review or just know a soda, want to know more about a soda, head on over to the sodajerk.net. I've probably reviewed it, and if I haven't, tell me and I'll find it and I will review it. That's what we do. We try new things. We try sodas. But you can try all kinds of new things. The sodajerk.net. I haven't tried them all yet. <laughs>